Now today we'll be showing on how to test the radiator and the radiator cap for your vehicle. And you could typically do this for absolutely nothing. Most local auto parts stores will rent you a tester kit, which I'll show you today. You can also purchase one as well, and I'll go through that shortly. But this is a very, very nice tool to have to pinpoint if you have a leaking cap or a defective radiator cap, or if, for example, your vehicle is overheating, to really see if the radiator is in good shape. Let's begin. Now, of course, before you remove the radiator cap, make sure that everything is nice and cool. If it's hot, wait until it cools down. Obviously, you don't want to burn your hands, and also it's under extreme pressure, but we'll start with the cap. Now, testing the cooling system is very, very easy, especially with a kit like this. This runs for a little under $40. I'll include a link to Amazon if you're curious on uh, where you're looking to purchase one for your own vehicle. You can also rent these for free, typically at your local auto parts store. This one specifically is the MightyVac MV4560. It's a number of years old, but it does a very good job. On the back, it tells you all of the makes and models that it does work with and it does include an instruction manual and in the back I'll quickly show you as you can see all the makes and models and so on and so forth so that being said before we begin with the cap you just want to lube the gasket with some coolant some antifreeze so just make sure you adequately place a little bit of coolant on there and as you can see the kit has a number of different adapters now the booklet will tell you exactly which adapter to use. This happens to be a 2006 Acura TL, and this is the correct adapter. Now, as you can see, if you're not too sure, if you lost the book, whatever the case may be, you could just trial and error. You can find the right adapter. So this doesn't work, but as you can see, this is nice and tight. Okay, very, very easy. Now, the kit includes everything that you need here. And again, if I did that a little too quick, as you can see, some adapters just won't fit right. So you want to find the one that fits just perfect as so, okay? Then you have a little tube here. This is a vacuum tube. Now what you could do also is we'll use a little, uh, a little bit of zip tie in the ends. That's because you want to have the absolute best connection point possible. In other words, if you have any air leaks here, then this will give you a faulty reading. And I'll show you what I mean in a moment. Let me grab a, uh, a uh, zip tie here. Now it's a good idea to check the cap if your vehicle is experiencing overcooling, uh, which is possible. I've had that before many years ago on a vehicle, so it, it is certainly possible. And also the flip side is, the whole point behind these caps is to increase the boiling point of water by pressurizing it. So a faulty cap just won't do the job, ultimately. So now we're ready to test the cap. Now, the whole point with this tool is you're going to apply vacuum. And you want to make sure that the cap holds vacuum. Now average for most vehicles is 14 to 18 psi. Okay. Now if you start applying vacuum and you're not really getting anything or sometimes you may get something like this for example it won't go above 4 or 5 psi then that is very uh, it's a perfect indication that the cap needs to be replaced. But again most vehicles apply uh, between 14 to 18 psi and you want to make sure there's 15 right here you want to make sure that the needle stays perfectly uh, steady now you may see a slight very slow decrease on the needle if that's the case typically what's going on is you don't have a very good uh, seating surface on either the vacuum tube or maybe the adapter is just leaking slightly but the main thing that you want to see, again, is that the needle is nice and straight. So this cap is in good shape. If you do need to replace it, go ahead and do so. They're inexpensive, but very, very important to check. Now let's check out the radiator. Now testing the radiator is the exact same fashion. Find the correct adapter, 
place the adapter on the neck of the radiator. And just like we did with the radiator cap, we'll apply 15 PSI. Again, 14 to 18 is always a pretty good number. And this will check if you have any leaks in the radiator. For example, if your vehicle is overheating, it's leaking. This is a very, very easy test you can do. And here we go. Whoop, that was my fault. Here we go. Okay, again, we'll put 15. And as you can see, maybe a little bit more. And as you can see, the needle is perfectly, perfectly straight, so we don't have any leaks. But if your vehicle, again, is overheating, a very, very quick and easy test, especially since you can rent these for essentially nothing. But it's always a good idea to purchase your own if you plan on doing your own auto repair. To release the pressure on the bottom, you just press this. And that's it. That's all it takes to test a radiator and a radiator cap.